What if you were given the keys to your very own Magellan-class Star Trek-like deep space exploration starship with the following set of objectives? Provide the power to all to start all systems. Ensure a steady before, electricity, coolant and fuel flow to and the ship's main the reactor. The Cold reaction. start the ship's fusion reactor. Congratulations. Power up all the necessary systems and backup systems, and batteries, you power distributors, etc. Distribute powers to all the decks, including the bridge. And going to the sensors uh, on the bridge and picking your destination of choice and hitting the FTL drive to get there. And all of that involving deeply simulated engineering gameplay that we are yet waiting to see from the games like of Star Citizen. Hi there, space and exploration fans! Today I would like to share with you news regarding an upcoming space and exploration game called Starship Simulator that has just entered its Kickstarter phase. And actually, as of recording this video, 72 hours later, it has been fully funded and hoping to kick many of the upcoming stretch goals. So, before we delve deeper into the matter, let us briefly define what Starship Simulator is. Starship Simulator is a deeply immersive space and exploration sandbox with aims to combine fully simulated, realistically designed starships with a full-scale Milky Way galaxy driven by real astrophysics. Uh, all in all, some lofty and ambitious goals, and there are actually many, you know, space games and space simulation games nowadays in the market, so how does a Starship Simulator set itself apart? Now, apparently, the project has been the marriage of the two of the greatest passions of the single developer and with his and his wife, and that's nerding out of the design and engineering of a massive space vessel. So think about cruiser ships uh, size, and gazing to the heavens at night, wishing we could explore those tiny points of light that we see out there. Yeah, it's an ambitious project for sure, and the developer Dan Govier is describing what he has planned in more detail. So, when it comes to this, he envisioned, or they envisioned, a real structural frameworks. I mean, the starships are massive. We are talking, if you wanted to compare it to, you know, Star Citizen, I think the ships are even bigger than the Karak. I'm not actually a good uh, judge of character here, because I've only visited Karak once in my playthings, but uh, when I've walked around this uh, Magellan-class deep space exploration vessel, this thing is massive. It has, I think, three or four decks, the lowest one being engineering, and there is an extensive tutorial there how to cold start a ship. So imagine you're in the ship and it's pitch black. And there is a tutorial to walk you through the old nooks and crannies and all the steps that it requires to full on start the whole beast until it's fully powered and ready to fly. And here we're talking like massive changes. For example, you know, powering up the capacitors enabling the electricity flow using the circuit breakers, making sure to power on the batteries, starting up the initial fusion reaction after you have enabled the deuterium-3, deuterium, helium and helium-3 flows. So both coolant and fuel needs to be provided and then jump starting the initial reaction, getting it to the stable levels and, you know, and onwards powering the main systems and the backup system, etc. And each cable, each pipe has been meticulously drawn and simulated. So in the future, when the da there is some damage models and damage states, they will show and impact the performance of the ship. Also, uh, so that's when it comes to real structural frameworks. The ship layout and construction has been de designed in the CAD system, which is usually used for real engineering products. Every bolt and bracket has been modeled in detail. Systems has been deeply simulated with the hardware, complex network of pipe and cable connectors, fluids and elect electrical currents, and everything can be damaged and repaired. Then we have the detailed damage model and highly interactive ship interiors. So the ship 
most of the ship currently because we have there is a demo on Steam that you can go and download and try it for yourself if you're really into that kind of stuff I tried it and the demo is amazing when it comes to the ship simulation part now granted it's only a tech demo level because well they're just you know they have been some time in development ship is modeled to a degree you can go and interact with the systems but the engineering side of the gameplay is so satisfying that I have been blown away by the huge ambition and scale. Whether or not the project will be able to deliver, well, it waits for us to see, but they have they have gone successfully through the crowdfunding. There are, if you would like to back the project, there are 27 more days to go as of recording this video, and they have already hit their pledge goals. So now, uh, when it comes to their stretch goals, the game apparently will be developed, but when it comes to the stretch goals, there are a lot to unlock. So, if they reach 140,000, they will be adding a native room scale VR support, which, I mean, for the game of this size and this magnitude and with the level of what that I've played, to me, it sounds like, you know, a wet dream come true, honestly. Uh, and next stretch goal would be adding shuttles and alien structures, and at 300k, we have the planetary landing. So, I think it's safe to say, guys, that we really want to unlock as many of these stretch goals as we humanly and possibly can. Uh, I've actually backed the project, I think I was 50th from the game, so the moment it launched, I think one hour later when I came back home, I decided, okay, I'm gonna back it up and I'm gonna be the captain. So to get uh, backing up at the captain level is great because you can actually get the early access, but you can get access to the development build, so you can actually play the game as it evolves, which I think for my side is perfect. There are more ambitious, you know, Kickstarter rewards like Vice Admiral, where you can actually work with the team to design your own shuttle or other small vehicle, which I think to be pretty fun. Uh, and uh, the game, when it actually develops, it's de being developed as a Steam Windows PC title, and uh, once it launched, they are planning it to be truly free to play. So without any microtransactions, cosmetic items will never cost the player money. Ongoing funding should be covered via the sale of DLCs, which will con might contain additional ships to also fully driven story campaigns. So if you think about something like DCS, I think you're hitting the mark, so to say. And um, this, the simulation of the Starship is massive. So it's all not only engineering, you will be able to uh, get on the ship and basically try yourself in a multitude of roles. Uh, if you're thinking of the game like B-17, Flying Fortress, that I have shown on my channel, where basically you're just flying in a massive fortress and you can take the role of any pilot, gunner, bombardier and whatnot, I think that this game is somewhere on par with that kind of thinking. And you can take the... You can take the roles of the commander, being the, you know, the captain, making the big decisions, issuing orders and diplomacy. You can be part of the deck crew where you can pilot ships, shuttles, deliver cargo. You can be the science officer who would be performing detailed scans, navigation targets, analyzing surface samples. You can be the engineering guy who is maintaining the ship's systems as you saw in the demo, repairing the hardware, performing maintenance. You could be, for example, the medical guy, you know, where you could treat the injured crew members, tactical officers with the you know, with the uh, ship's weaponry, security systems, etc. Or you could just choose to be a, you know, a passenger on the craft. So basically just go to the ship's, you know, ship's cantina, have a bar, pick up a drink and just enjoy. So all in all, uh, when it comes to the, when it comes to the project funding, they're, they're hoping to also achieve a detailed galaxy simulation where they would have the re realistic procedural regeneration using real astrophysics, actual galactic regions, stellar distribution. They're planning seamless transition between all the planetary bodies that you can explore. Uh, there will be a story attached to it. I will not go into too many details. If you want to follow the project, do that. I will be providing the link to both the Steam demo and the Kickstarter project in the comments below. So do be sure to check it out, guys. The demo is absolutely free. And I think if you try it out yourselves, you will see why am I so, you know, hyped about this game. Um, 
when coming back to the galaxy and procedural generation there will be stunning visuals they plan to add a lot of uh, you know stellar phenomena black holes nebulae and more fully volumetric stuff celestial objects render at one-to-one -one scale the view from the window should be breathtaking and it already is in the demo so i encourage you guys try it out and also let me know what you think in the comments below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video